Oh, this is so dumb. I can't figure this out. Hey, dude, what's up? Oh, you again. Nothing. I'm trying to figure out this edit on my phone, and there's just, just one part that I can't get right. You know, you think for as much as you do this video stuff, you'd be able to figure something like this out by now. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, you'd think you'd stop hanging around my window by this time, too, but, you know, here we are yet again. Who even are you? Who am I? I'm not someone that wears shoes on the bed, if that's what you're asking. What are you talking about? I'm not wearing shoes on the... Tour is gonna be about how to clone yourself in an iMovie. One time, okay? One time. One time, still pretty weird, dude. Whatever, all right? You know, I'm kind of busy here if you can't see. So unless you have some way to help me out, I'd really like to get back to doing my project here and uh, trying to figure it out. So you can just stop wasting my time now. Oh, dude, such little faith. I mean, if you needed help, why didn't you just say so? I got just the thing for you. Why don't you take a look at this video and it'll solve all your problems. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, we're gonna be doing a little video on some questions that you guys have been asking me and specifically on this video right here where I teach you how to clone yourself in iMovie. This has been probably one of my most popular tutorials and you guys ask me questions on it all the time. So rather than answering all of them in the comments, I figured I'd make a video of it for you here. So the top question that you guys are asking above anything else is can this effect be done in mobile? Now when you guys ask this, I'm assuming you're meaning like uh, your phone, your iPhone, your iPad, me, myself, I have the iPhone XR, so as far as my knowledge is concerned, I don't think you can do this on mobile still. The iMovie app has gotten a lot of updates recently. I have iOS 14, so it's up to date, and it can do a lot more than it used to be able to do, and they've gotten a lot more things. However, I still don't think you can do this effect just quite yet in iMovie, and I'm not sure if that's something they're doing on purpose, or it's just because my phone can't handle it, but you can't really overlay the two clips and manipulate them the way you want them. They have an option now where you can put one clip in as your main clip, and then finally overlay another clip, as you see in the tutorial that we do on the Mac, where you can put the two clips together, and you have the option to kind of select the mask you want. They have some kind of option like that on the phone now, except when you select the second clip, you have to force it to either be a picture-in-picture -picture clip or a green screen clip but it doesn't come through the same way it doesn't really it's not really the same effect and it makes it it forces you to choose a color to subtract before you can do any kind of selecting of what part of your screen you want to use or what part of your screen you want to cut out however if you really are invested in just doing editing on your mobile and you don't have like a pc or something like that there are plenty of apps to do. Uh, there are plenty of apps in the App Store and stuff like that where you can get uh, free video editing softwares that do a lot better job than iMovie and give you a lot more effects and stuff like that. I don't know any offhand just because, like I said, I don't do that. I don't use my phone for that kind of thing. But just search up video editor in your software or even iMovie in um, the iTunes Store and a lot of other options should come up for you. All right, so moving on to the second question that I get asked most often for this video is, can I do this on my PC or other kind of computer or where can I get this software? And the answer to that is really you can't. If you're on PC, unfortunately, you're not going to have access to iMovie because it's an Apple product. So you need an iPhone or a Mac computer or something like that. The alternative to not having a Mac product or to wanting something else other than my iMovie would be to get this program called Hit Film Express. I actually did another video on this and how to download it and kind of how it works on this channel. So I'll leave a link to that in the description down below for you guys to check out if you're interested. But basically, HitFilm is another video editing program and it's completely free and it's very similar to more advanced programs that you pay for like Final Cut or Premiere Pro and the way it's set up. And it gives you access to multiple clips and layers so you can do more than one video layer in your whole project and you don't have to, you know, put one video together and export it with letterboxes to do stuff like that and then re-import it to put another video layer on you can just do it all at once in your timeline right there and that cuts out so much hassle already for iMovie users you know that it's such a struggle to brush work with those two video timelines it also lets you do a lot of other cool effects and will let you do this cloning effect very very easily as well as a bunch of other things so if you're looking for a new software to upgrade to from iMovie or you're looking for a software to use at all that's free on Windows, I definitely recommend HitFilm. On top of that, a lot of the things that I teach on this channel and pretty much everyone else teaches on their channels can be applied to using that software. So it really comes in handy. Now, full disclaimer here, when I made the tutorial for this cloning effect, I was still using iMovie myself. I had gained a lot of knowledge because at the time I was 
making movies and edits and whatever like that you want to call them still in iMovie myself so I was using iMovie on a pretty frequent basis but since then I've fully transitioned over to Premiere in the Adobe Creative Cloud service and I have a much better grasp on that kind of software now and so I don't really use iMovie anymore so just in the future if you guys are looking for any more iMovie tutorials and stuff like that on this channel unfortunately I probably won't be doing any more just because it's not something I do personally and I don't want to teach you something that I'm not currently doing or practicing but anyway hopefully you guys like this video if you did make sure to leave a like subscribe to this channel for more content and hit that bell and leave a comment down in the comment section if you have any questions or anything that I can still try to answer and until next time I'll see you guys then all right peace out Gone, just running through the field, say vivid for the ears. I know that's how they like. Yeah, I finish size. Tell me that it's real when it's all said and done. I said it how I feel it. I let him hit the fear of a passive.